Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's thereef.support. Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. She's still here. I am here. She is here. Yes, we're going to talk about everybody's favorite subject, Dismal Disney. Uh-huh. And we're going to talk about the Little Mermaid trailer, and we're going to talk about PR spin. Apparently, The Hollywood Reporter has an exclusive that they learned that the Little Mermaid trailer earns the most live-action views since the Lion King trailer. But they don't provide proof of that. We don't provide proof. No, if you go out to YouTube and you look at the English version of the trailer, it's only got about 9 million views, but it's got a lot of downvotes. Yeah, but they're claiming 108 million globally viewed on that trailer within the first 24 hours. 9 million is after five days. So where did all the views come from? And I'm not saying it's not possible, but they don't break it down to even show you how, where they're getting this information from. You yeah, know? just trust us. Disney said. They didn't even say Disney said, I don't think. They just said that it was. It's an exclusive. Exclusive. Well, I can put exclusive on a pile of shit. Doesn't mean it's true. <laughs> exclusive pile of shit. Yeah, they don't really, they don't. No, this is a PR piece from Disney. So we're going to talk about this because um, there's been a lot of damage control being done. We're going to talk about um, this article. We're going to talk about Josh Gad. Uh, white knighting for the trailer. Well, yeah, we're talking about how if you don't like it, if there's not like any aspect of the Little Mermaid film, it doesn't even have to be Ariel herself. You're just a racist. So let's talk about all this. I think we're going to see a lot of damage control being done uh, up to the movie's release. And here's the thing. A lot of the complaints don't even have anything to do with uh, the actress herself, Halle Bailey. A lot of the complaints are the movie looks drab. It it's looks, a live action remake. It's a live action remake that nobody wanted. Uh, there's some definite uh, uncanny valleyness going on with the animal sidekicks. Uh, there's a rumor that they're going to take all the romance out of it, uh, the romance angle, and she don't need no man. Right. She's probably what's going to be like, you know, she gave up at the end. She decides to love herself, and that's why the spell's broken because you know she loves herself. Oh my God! When well, I think, no, no. <laughs> when I think about me, I no, touch. But myself. like understanding that, yeah, you don't need no man. I love for herself is enough, or something like that. Oh my God! They or they could go back to the original fairy tale, and like she's like, yeah, I don't need no man. Then she just turns to seam foam and dies. The end. You know? I, they're going to do something because it's modern. You're, like we already know Snow White coming out next year. They're saying, "Oh, it's going to be a current year reimagining." Reimagining. She doesn't need the prince type thing, and I'm like, "Oh boy!" All the red flags. So we're gonna we're gonna uh, all the red flags. I was gonna say, gonna, but not the red hair. I was literally gonna yes. say that. all the red flags, but none of the red hair. So before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Over wow, yeah, two hundred ninety, almost three hundred thousand yeah. subs. Thank you so much for the support. Uh, greatly appreciate We do talk a lot about Disney having worked in and around the company for a number of years, various capacities, was on the, the approved media list, and now we're not. That's why we're not getting exclusives mm -hmm. like The Hollywood Reporter. We just want BS. Um, but yeah, Little Mermaid is is the most, the most viewed live action film trailer. Now, The Little Mermaid had another record. I'm going to bring this up. Uh, the official teaser trailer held the record for the most downvoted movie trailer ever on mm -hmm. YouTube. It had 70% downvotes. In fact, if you go out now, it's got 3.5 million downvotes to 1.2 million. And what, means, what, what gets me is, okay, is some of it like, you know, probably some kind of racism? Yes. Do I think that's the majority of the issue? No, because um, it's not helping that, that the media and Disney and people associated with Disney are going out there basically saying, if you don't like this movie, it's because you're racist. It's because you're a terrible person. You know, the same we heard for, oh, Lightyear didn't do well. Oh, because of the bigots. And Strange World didn't do well. Oh, because of the bigots. And I'm like, if everybody who didn't go see your movie is a bigot, then there's an awful lot of bigots running around because people didn't go see your damn movies. That, look, this is the same thing they tried to some degree with Ghostbusters 2016. Ghostbusters 2016 at the time because of this narrative. And this is the thing, they don't realize they're actually doing damage to themselves. They're mm -hmm. hurting themselves in their own confusion. 
uh, Ghostbusters 2016 had the backlash it had because they ran with that narrative. It's only the misogynists aren't going to go see this mediocre looking remake. Well, now it's the MAGA people. Now it's the MAGA people. There are a hell of a lot more MAGA people than I thought. Well, yeah. I mean, then. apparently globally, the majority of people are MAGA people. And, you know, don't you know that? I just think to me it's funny. The worst, what's the worst insult we can give them? You're a MAGA person. You're a Republican. But beyond that, um, there's a lot of people who aren't white, who aren't straight, and who aren't male that are Republican. Yeah, well, we don't count them. No, that's just it. You, we, you don't count those people. You don't count those people. Stop stop not counting people as we not count people. How dare you? You know, anytime you wade into political waters like this, again, no pun intended, Disney, you always wind up losing money because, again, all people want from Disney is solid family entertainment. They're, they're not really asking for much. You did it for years. You did it for decades. But up until recently, you decided that you were everything was going to have a political angle to it. And then your damage control usually winds up being worse than, you know, anything else, because you always drag politics into it. The people going to defend you always drag politics into it. Well, the other thing they always do is something, whatever's lazy, whatever, li lazy reimagining is live action or lazy race or gender swap because they're too damn lazy to give actual characters that are diverse the time and investment they need to make them legitimate good, legitimately good characters now here's the thing are they saying that these these views this uh, supposed was 109 million views? 108 million global so are they saying this is only on youtube um i don't know they don't they don't specify oh, they provide okay. here we go the number of views is inclusive of the broadcast tv okay. audience in all digital. right see i knew there was something fishy because you don't go from nine <laughs> million i know right yeah nine it's million aerial. after five days to it's a hundred and some million views. i'm like based on what globally oh because we're basing this on the people that saw the commercial on tv when they watched the oscars which i call i call bs on that because the that no everybody knows no one's watching the oscars either yeah, so they paid uh, – you have to basically take their word for it because ABC ran the Oscars. Right. Uh, they're, they they're, paid themselves $10 million to do it. They're running the trailer on digital. They're running on Hulu. So you don't have a – so nobody's actually choosing to watch this trailer. So they're playing it as, oh, it got all these views. It got all these views because they made you have to watch it. And yes. that's, that's not like, that's not choosing to watch it. Like if you go to YouTube and choose to watch the trailer, you're choosing to watch it. Nine million people after five days chose to watch the trailer on YouTube. Even, even then, like you see a lot of these trailers and what happens is the studio actually pays to promote the trailer as a commercial mm -hmm. on YouTube. And YouTube does not distinguish between paid views and organic views. So you might have a trailer. It's like, oh, my God, this trailer had 50 million people view it. What you're not seeing is 45 million of those people. It ran as an advertisement that they clicked off of after five, right, six seconds. Right. They did not choose to go view this. Right. So what this is telling me is only 9 million people in five days chose to go watch the Little Mermaid right. trailer. And 1.1 million of them downvoted the trailer as opposed to like 260,000 people up to 10. A uh, thousand upvoted it. So the thing is, is and I want to reiterate here, I do not know how this movie is going to do because live action Disney movies are always a crapshoot. Um, emphasis on crap. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes they do way better than I ever could have expected. And sometimes they really, you know, miss the mark. Sometimes they get yeah, we don't gonna, know how this is going to do. I don't know how this is going to do. I really don't. I mean, it might, it might, despite all the, uh, the backlash online and the drama online, it might overseas wind up being a massive hit. Who the hell knows? I doubt that. I, but anyway. I don't think so. I mean, especially in China, they're already complaining about it. Um, she doesn't even have shells. She's got she's got scale tits. Anyway, um, <laughs> I didn't true. notice that before. I'm like, what's going on here? Um, so, yeah, I mean, that I don't know. Shells would be very uncomfortable. They would be, but it would be more, more authentic to the character. But this is live action Disney we're talking about. So, look, this, this movie has a lot of other issues going on and and people are at this point and this i talked about this in a video i did yesterday talking about star wars and marvel people are done with disney people are over disney even people that were disney fans for years like vocal disney fans disney influencers online are starting to turn on disney they're like it's too much mediocre crap and you know, this is like the perfect shitstorm of everything that is kind of wrong with Disney right now. We're going to go back and make another unwanted live action remake. 
we're going to make changes to the characters, we're going to race swap characters, then we're going to blame the audience, and then we're going to go do damage control, yeah. we're going to lie about our numbers, or not lie, but we're going to massage it's, the truth it's a little always, bit. It's always the racist and the bigot's fault. Maybe your movie just sucks. And, you know, a lot of people were complaining, yeah, there are people complaining that Ariel isn't, you know, red hair, it doesn't have the red hair anymore. And they had the opportunity to make Ariel more of a ginger in this, and they didn't do it. Because I've said before, gingers aren't always white. But um, beyond that, People don't like the way it looks. They say it's too dark. Now, I will give them a lot of the scenes they're saying it's too dark from were scenes that were dark in the original, too, because it's like a storm or whatever. Yeah, but this is like, I mean, look at the, the color, color and, and the then, yeah. vibrance. And it's supposed to be the Caribbean, right? I mean, it should be a lot more It should more be color. very bright and beautiful, and it's not. Yeah. It's very dark. Um, and then you have the whole Scuttle, Sebastian, and Flounder thing going on where they look like just damn nightmare fuel um, for whatever reason. Yeah, you have Flounder and Scuttle and Sebastian looking like nightmare fuel. Yeah, this is, yeah, it just, I mean, there's so many things doesn't, it doesn't look good. Now, I think what's funny is the other day, uh, DreamWorks actually put a new trailer out for uh, Ruby Gilman Teenage Kraken, which is kind of a little mermaid in reverse, where the the Krakens or the Ursula characters are the good guys and the mermaids are the bad guys. And the villain looks like Ariel. Yeah, that's kind of I thought that was kind of, that was kind of funny, but she actually looks more like Ariel than Ariel. Imagine that. Imagine that. So, yeah, so apparently... um. Josh Gad is is doing damage control now too. Okay, because so the activists are out there saying, you know, of course anybody who who doesn't like this is a racist, is, is a phobe. Um, again, there are so many more downvotes to upvotes, and when the movies come out and no one goes sees them, there's an awful lot of bigots out there because that's the the reason they give for failure. Um, this person was a call to activism. The YouTube trailer of Little Mermaid is currently being mass disliked on YouTube by MAGA racists. MAGA I'm sure racist. many of you out there are so happy to know that if you don't like this movie for any reason, that you are a MAGA racist. Um, that's the only possible reason you might not like a trailer or you might not like this is because you're a MAGA racist. You, you know what's what's awful about this is if you are an independent thinker of color. You're not allowed to dislike this. You're trailer. not allowed to exist you're at not, all. You don't exist. You're not Pretty allowed Pretty much. To. Um, so Josh Gad, ever the Disney show, um, shows up to 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 own the the racist MAGA racist bigots. Olaf. Um, <laughs> Olaf comes in, white Olaf comes in to tell you. Imagine being so broken and pathetic in life that your chief concern is the skin color of a make-believe singing mermaid. Imagine being so disillusioned and up your own ass. You automatically assume that anybody who doesn't like this movie is because they're broken and pathetic and are racist, Josh. You know, here's... Uh, Can't wait for Josh to give up all his roles in the future to people that are, are not white because that's just the right thing to do. Yeah, right? Um, and look, Josh, your 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 turn will come. Ev eventually, you won't be the uh, flavor of the month anymore. He flipped and played, uh, you know, LeFou and played up that he was gay, supposedly, which Disney pretty much cut out for a few seconds. Yeah. And he did it in the way that was like the stereotypical... Flamboyant. Flamboyantly, yeah. you know. And it was like... Um, those to, who live in glass houses, Josh. To be fair, I always thought Josh Gad was gay. But... but um, no, I'm just like, we saw the same thing with Lightyear and, so, and The Strange World. Lightyear didn't do well. The majority of the reason Lightyear didn't do well is because audiences were like, they didn't get it. And they're, they're like, why the hell is Buzz Lightyear, not Buzz Lightyear, not even voiced by Tim Allen? And what the hell is this shit? And that, so it didn't do well. And immediately it was because there was one tiny scene in it with the same sex couple. So it has to be the reason why it failed. The bigots. That's why it failed. And the media ran with it. The MAGA peoples. Um, the Last Jedi. The Last Jedi, same thing. We had these women, these female characters show up for no reason. And, you know, immediately they vilified the characters that and, and took them down a peg from the last movie so that these women could could teach them or whatever. People were like, wait, I don't understand why Finn, who should have been one of the focus characters, is now suddenly a coward trying to run away and an asshole. And why is Poe suddenly an asshole? No, no, it's because you are a misogynist and you hate women. I hated Last Jedi. I'm a woman. And if I say that, I'm an internalized misogynist and don't know it. You're an internalized misogynist. Yeah, I mean, look, this this thing is legitimately raking in tons of negative down. And I, I do not believe there are that many actual racists. And it's not just coming from the U.S., so they're not all MAGA people. Uh, and honestly, most MAGA people are more preoccupied with, like, shooting guns and stuff than they are the Little Mermaid. Right. Let's be honest. Well, they're, they're not, not. They're not worried about the Little Mermaid. They're not the concerned. That's like people are like, oh, they're they're going after this cartoon show. I'm like, 
most of the people that are that far right don't watch cartoons. They think it's stupid. Literally on chat boards. I'm on all the Disney boards because I have a Disney blog. I'm literally seeing people being like having a complaint about the film. Have it too dark. They don't like the way that they made the, her friends look, whatever. And anytime they, they, they have to, they try to make a comment. They have to preface it by saying, oh, I think she's fine, but I, I, I think she's pretty, but I, I, I there's to give some positive comment about Halle Bailey before they're allowed to give any criticism or critique of the movie. And, and of course, anything that if you don't, it's because you're a racist. And if you do, it's because you hate this movie because you hate black people. They It's so stupid. We talked about this in a previous video. They've, Disney keeps doing this. This is this is this is actually disgusting on their part. They basically will deliberately race swap a character knowing it's going to be controversial. And then they will parade that decision out to the public. And then when they get backlash, the backlash they knew they were going to get. Then they usually send the star out to take all the hits and do the damage control. When if they hadn't made that big of a deal about it, people might not have made as big of a deal about it. But basically... Or how about they just make new characters instead of race swapping other characters? They did. They of course you were going to be like, I don't understand why you're doing this. Or you could try, you know, not remaking every damn animated. Yeah, at the movie. end of the day, that is the biggest one. People I, are so over the. They're terrible live action remakes. You get a couple decent ones, but for the majority of them, they are not doing well because people are tired of them and don't want them. So far, the ones now I haven't seen Aladdin. I've seen parts of it. It did not look terrible. Um, I refuse to watch The Lion King because... I don't watch any of them because I'm like, they're stupid. Well, Lion King's like one of my favorite Disney movies of all time. And I refuse to watch the remake because it looks dead. You know, it's That's very... What we're complaining it's about. very lifeless and very... Now, I did like The the Jungle Book. And uh, that was... That's what set this whole thing off. The Jungle Book was actually really well done. It was... I would actually say it was better in some ways than the original. And then because that made bank... You know, now we have to go just strip mine every damn thing. They're going to do Bambi and Lilo and Stitch. I I have no words for how uh, Lilo and Stitch especially frightens me. Oh, yeah. Why can't we do like, you know, Treasure Planet or, you know, um, Atlantis? I think those ones you might be able to get away with. And they might actually translate really well. Yeah, if it's one that maybe wasn't like uh, uh, one of the biggest hits that they did. Um, and it was like this really iconic movie. I think that they probably could get away with. You know, remaking something like, yeah, like you said, like Treasure Plan or they're something. They're doing Hercules. I think they could probably get away with that one. Mm, yeah, but they're also doing Hercules for the TikTok generation as a musical, apparently. Oh, really? Yeah. God. So where they're all going to have like Greek cell phones and shit. I mean, like, come on. <laughs> I, can't even. I, I mean, this is just look. Well, that is... actually fits for Hercules, though, because they were making like what was considered modern at the time. But yeah. they, to combine our modern with their modern makes no sense. But and that's going to age like milk because the original we watched the uh, watched the original Hercules with Pinky Boo a oh, couple months ago. Oh, she loves it. And this movie could not get made today. There's so many things in Hercules that would not fly today, you know, but uh, I don't know. All these movies are going to age like milk. But right? I just, I just, the whole tired, if it doesn't do well, it's because you're a terrible person narrative is bullshit. And again, the movies are doing terrible in the box office. They're getting downvoted like crazy on YouTube for their trailers. You cannot make the argument in good faith that everybody who doesn't like this or doesn't go see the movie is a terrible person. Because then you have way too many people to statistically be possibly the people you claim they are. Yeah. And then what will happen is a year from now, if the movie bombs, if it goes like light year. It then, might do well. We don't it, know. It might do well. I, I'm not even going to guess at this one. I don't know what it's going to do, right? I'm just going to tell you that the backlash is legit, and it's not just because of the race swap. Um, it's a perfect storm of everything wrong with Disney at this point. And this actress is getting caught in the crosshairs of that, you know. But um, if if it doesn't do well, a year from now, we're going to see all the articles like, well, you know, um, we we knew we shouldn't be remaking these movies, and we're going to we're gonna pivot now. Because they kind of came out and admitted that Buzz Lightyear was a bad idea. Doing that movie was a bad idea without... Tim Allen, and now they're bringing Tim Allen back for Toy Story 5 because it was a bad idea. And this is also a bad idea, but they've committed to it. Well, That's the thing. They I committed think, to it. I don't it. think it would make much of a difference even if it was a white woman with red hair. It's the same shit. I mean, shit. people yeah, are going to be like, what the hell is it? I'm tired of the live action remakes. You would just lose the argument that they're trying to hide behind with the racism thing. Anybody, you know, they could have given her red hair that actually looked red. I think that would have that would have alleviated a lot of the issues too, which they didn't. But, you know, they had put even a white actress in with red hair. I think people would have been like, what the hell? Because we've seen other live action movies that were cast to look like the characters. And they were awful and people hated them. Yeah. 
Yeah. It's like they just don't want to see this anymore. No, that that's it. That they're people are done with Disney. This is the perfect storm. People are tired is, of it. They're tired of everything Disney. But the media, like the Hollywood Reporter, they're running with this. Oh, 108 million people love this trailer. Record breaking. It wasn't a record breaking. It was a fucking commercial. So can we see the amount of people that you that saw every other commercial that was run during uh like the Super Bowl or yeah. they you know Oscars and say that's how many people like uh, you know like this this commercial watch this commercial watch this trailer. Because that's misleading. Yeah, they were forced to watch Generated 108 million global views because you ran it on TV and and digital. So you're running this commercial in 24 hours all over the damn place. And anytime it gets put through someone's TV, you're counting it. And sometimes it's going to be duplicates. Yeah. Yeah, because I know like Hulu, my God, Hulu, every five minutes they they have an ad block on it. It's it's ridiculous. This is like when they did, uh, what was it, the New York Comic Con? One of the Comic Cons. I forget which one it was. That they were counting anybody that talked about it and oh, all their it, views. I think it was new. I think it was New York Comic Con. Might have been DC Fandom. I one of those, but yeah, they I don't were like which one. Anybody that talked about the event on their YouTube channel, they, they counted your views. They counted your views as part of the total saturate. Because that the thing is, they're marketing people to keep their jobs. They have to go to their bosses and be like, "Look at what we did. Look at what we did, guys." And some of those people that were covering it, they might have had the same, there might have been 20 different people covering it. And then two or three people, you know, or 10 people or whatever, watched all 20 videos. And they counted each of those people as separate. Yeah. I mean, it's a load of shit. I'm sorry. But this is bullshit trying to, to, to do damage control. I think they're freaking out over this. I think they don't think this is going to do well. I think they're freaking out. Well, they're creating their own problem because yeah. when you have Josh Gad going out there saying anybody who doesn't like the aerial being this way or like like this trailer is, is because MAGA. they're a MAGA whatever MAGA and going racist. along with it and they're broken inside. And then you have the media basically perpetuating that if you don't like it, you're racist. And all it's doing is turning people off. Those yeah. who are going to go see it are going to go see it. Those who weren't going to go see it were, aren't, were never going to go see it. And you sure as hell aren't winning them over by calling them names. And a lot of people I've seen that have seen more of the show since they saw the new trailer and they saw Flounder and Sebastian and Scuttle, they're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I was on board, but now I don't really want to see this. I think it looks awful. It's so dark. It's so whatever. You're just a racist. You're not going to win them back or win them over by immediately attacking them if they bring up any criticism. And and some of them, I'm sorry, are valid criticisms. Yeah. You cannot do some things in live action. Nope. Uh, so we're going to wrap this up, I think. Yes. I think we're going to wrap it up. And I'm sure there will be a lot more drama around The Little Mermaid. Oh, 100%. Uh, and, Can't uh, the, wait to see all the headlines if it doesn't do well. Oh, my what God. What if it does do well? Ha ha, racist, you lost. It's like, it's not about that, for fuck's sake. I saw MAGA hat wearing people at the theater, and they kept me out. And that's why The Little Mermaid bombed. Oh, Trust me. That's like when they told people that they don't have to go see Black Panther for the first weekend unless you're black and that white people should come and block the doors for anybody that's not black. And then it didn't. I'm like, and you thought that was going to help it do well opening weekend? It's like, what are you thinking? Uh, and it still hasn't crossed a billion dollars yet. Imagine that. People don't want to go see the Black Panther without Black Panther. Um, anyway, we're going to wrap this up, right? Mm -hmm. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.